Fabia Darcy Harrison, great to meet you. And thank you, I think, for the scare that you've given me. Yeah. <laughs> You're um, very welcome. <laughs> uh, Harrison, on your, on your uh, Instagram, you put up a, a post of the Irregulars and you said, yep. oh boy, here we go. Who's ready? What do we need to be ready for? You need to be ready for a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this show, uh, which is a great thing to be a part of because there's there's action, there's supernatural elements, there's also really deep relationships between each some of the characters. Uh, it's hopefully going to make you laugh, it's going to make you cry maybe, uh, and it's definitely going to leave you a bit, yeah, a bit worried for going to bed <laughs> and the nightmares that might happen. Yeah, if you're like me, there's lots of those happening. Thadia, um, <laughs> uh, you put up a post about B and you've said, I've spent over a year with Wee B and it was a complete honour. I can't wait for you to meet her. How did it feel saying goodbye to her and now knowing that the world is going to have her? It was really strange. I think it's very hard when you, when you, it is like spending a year with another person. And I learned a lot kind of from just being her and she's so confident and so, sure of herself and but also very aware of other people and I think that I really hope that I've taken some of that from her uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to, to see what other people think because I love her so much but I'm very, very biased <laughs> as are the, are the rest of the team uh, so I'm really excited to hear what people think and I, I was talking to Tom Bidwell our creator um, about you know when the show comes out and how you deal with all that and he said you know we know what we made and we were all through that journey together. So really what matters is that we're happy and we're proud of what we've done because we, we, we did all the groundwork. We were there together for a year. So um, I think as long as we are happy in ourselves and, and proud of what we've done, which we are, then uh, whatever comes next, whatever people think, I'm really excited to hear, good or bad, or just, mm. you know, opinions. Darcy, how do you handle that, what Thaddy is talking about there? Because this is something, it's not like... Um, shouldn't use the word regular but you know what I mean it's not like um, irregular <laughs> yeah. mm, there you okay. go but, you know, it's not like terrestrial tv where you get to work on stuff week to week with Netflix it's you're in this bubble for a year and it's incredible you get really close you walk mm. away and then you put it all out how do you feel mm. about that how do you deal with that yeah I think it was very strange I definitely miss the guys when they went back home and you know there was that kind of sense of like I miss them and like it was it was quite weird to just go from living so intensely close to one another and like being together all the time to like just not and I think it was a little bit sad but then to think that we've got this whole experience to share with each other that this show's coming out and we've got to enjoy it with each other and I think being a part of an ensemble is it's such a big part of that is that you've got other people to kind of enjoy the ride with almost and it's mm -hmm. really I feel very fortunate for that. So on the 26th of March Harrison do you guys have a whatsapp group that at eight o'clock in the morning will start buzzing as it lands on Netflix. And, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be sending lots of messages, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, we've all got a WhatsApp group uh, we sort of keep in touch with. And uh, yeah, that day is going to be pretty, pretty exciting. It's a bit daunting uh, because, mm. as you said, like we've all spent such a long time on it. But I think it's a show that we're all really proud of. And uh, we're just excited for people to see it and hopefully get behind uh, behind the series. And Fabia, what will you do? Because usually, you know, um, pre-pandemic, you'd all get together to watch, mm -hmm. even, not the whole series, but, you know, one or two episodes <laughs> together. So what are you guys going to do to celebrate that? We actually have a, a virtual kind of screening, which is really lovely, and the cast and the crew are all going to be together on that. And it just it's just like a little toast to, to not, a, a nod to everyone's hard work. And I, that's really lovely. And it's a very kind of private thing, which is really nice to kind of regroup and be like, okay, we're not alone in this. We are together. We all know mm. what we've done. Let's see what happens now. Uh, so that's quite exciting and a lovely yeah. alternative uh, yeah. rather than just not do anything. Mm. Yeah. Darcy, one of the taglines is, you know nothing of what it is to be afraid. And it's true when it comes to this, right? I was freaked <laughs> out, as I keep telling you. But what was it like for you filming to be next to those I'm going to call them things as you were filming. Creatures. Yeah. How, how, how did you, how, how did you sleep at night? I actually slept as sound as a baby when I was filming. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> not gonna it's, lie. Really, it's really quite worrying. <laughs> well, I mean, it was quite tiring. So I was like, at the end of the day, I was like, get me in bed. But now, you know what? 
the guys who are actually playing these things are monsters were really lovely guys and I got to know them quite well spent a lot of time with them they were telling me how they um they garden and kind of make, uh, have carrots in the garden and it was great and they had this great relationship so I actually wasn't creeped out but then when I watched it I started having these really intense kind of vivid nightmares so I think yeah it was quite it was quite freaky really <laughs> so I, I I just want to go back a step there Darcy where you're you're saying that you you're there just chatting to these guys like yeah. regular guys were they in their costumes just talking mm. about and you know then I did this on the weekend and yeah yeah we were talking about center parks so you're having a great time you know having a jolly old <laughs> chinwag great <laughs> She wasn't that friendly with us. Yeah, I know. We're, I'm, we missed out on these conversations. Yeah. Yeah, any of that. It's only well, Ian, guys. No. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, Harrison, because I was talking to Mikel and Jojo, and oh. they were telling me that you guys did hang out together off set. Yeah. And sometimes, like, especially when you went into a, an escape room in Liverpool, yes. you all turned into your own characters. Tell me more about this. Uh, we, we'd, like, we'd like to think so. I mean, Leo is incredibly clever, and... Uh, that was a stretch for me anyway <laughs> to play these parts. Um, mm. But yeah, when we went into that escape room, we quickly, very quickly fell into the format of, yeah, Thaddea was very much in control. Jesse was a right-hand man. And then the boys didn't really know what to do. So we were kind of just <laughs> picking stuff up and having a look at that and going, is this important? And uh, yeah, we weren't much help at all. But we got out though in the end. So we, we, we did. must have done we something did. right. We're here. <laughs> yeah. We made yeah. it. Um, we made it. <laughs> Thaddea, I think it's in the first episode. And I think it's, Sherlock says to be, if I'm right, what you thought was madness is power. When you look at your own life and you think, oh, no, that, that's a bit off kilter or I don't think that's going to work. When you look back and go, actually, that is what makes me me and gives me my mm. superpower. What would that be? Oh, wow. Oh, God. I actually think a lot of my own power um, comes <laughs> from the people around me, I think. and I. I think all of us suffer from imposter syndrome at times. You think, oh God, they've cast the wrong person or oh, oh no, 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 they've, they've made a mistake or they're going to recast it. I'm not up to the job. I'm not good enough. Um, and it's those moments where you really have to kind of pull yourself through. And I lean very heavily on people around me. And I think that's where I get my strength from. Those people who are so confident in themselves or even if they're not confident, they've worked through things and they're very open about talking about that journey and sharing um so I think that's where where my part comes from other people it's actually really interesting you mentioned that because um watching the Golden Globes I I think I was most shocked about Jodie Foster turning around going oh my god I can't believe I'm winning this Jodie Foster mm. who we think would have no imposter syndrome mm. has imposter syndrome still Darcy does that exist in your life how do you deal with that yeah I think as Sadio was saying, I think we all have it in kind of different, in kind of, you know, we all have it in different ways. And I think I definitely, there are times where you step back and question yourself, especially in this industry, so uncertain and like you never know where you're going to be one moment to the next. And I think that kind of constant roller coaster of, you know, you hit these really high highs and then you can be, you can hit really low as well. And I think it's, it's a tough industry at times to kind of, you know, just, like feel it you don't feel good all the time basically so I think there are definitely moments where you sit back and you're like is this am I doing the right thing am I mm. supposed to be here and I think you know the thing that drives me forward anyway is my kind of just love for it just the the whole thing and you know yeah <laughs> Harrison how do you deal with those lows because as Darcy said the highs are like massively high Very but it's much those, so. um, even not the downs but like the unsure moments how do you deal with mm. those yeah, it's a, it's a strange thing. We're always dealt with sort of uncertainty, especially in, in being a, a, an actor. And for me, it's a very much thing of sort of preparation. Like if I can go into an audition and I've done all the sort of preparation, I've done the rehearsal mm -hmm. and I can come out of it going, well, that was the best that I could have done. Then it goes down to all the sort of var variables of the industry, uh, which you have no control over. Them. So I, I'm very much that do everything you can for yourself, whether it's your mental health or your exercise mm -hmm. regime or just getting into the, the best you you can be. And then it's all up to the world and you just got to take everything with a bit of a smile, really. That's actually a good piece of advice. Before I let you guys go, <laughs> Thaddea, have you heard anything about a season two? No, but I think we're all absolutely ready to do it if, if it comes our way. And I think um, we would love to go back. But if season one's all we get, then 
I think we're all very, very proud of what we've managed to achieve together as, a, as an entire team, not just the cast, like all of the crew of the production team. It's a massive, massive team effort from pre-production, current production, and then post-production. Uh, so yeah, just very proud of it. Well, I want to go know, back to Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, either way, whether you're going back as a cast or on your own, just celebrate this moment because putting together a series for Netflix is huge. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Amazing.